I'm just going to do a quick uh, little tutorial video on one of these black aluminum business cards uh, with a picture that my daughter found on uh, Pixabay. It's a, a picture of an eagle here. So I've already downloaded it to my computer. So the process that I do is I drag it into XCS, which I've done already. So you drag it in here. And for this purposes, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to uh, bring it in. So I brought it into the software. What I do in the software is I create a square where my card is going to be. And then um, I bring that to the front on a separate layer. The layer three is the picture. So as long as the picture is located inside that square, I know that that's what's going to be on the card. And I'm not concerned about the stuff that's to the outside a little bit. That's okay. I could raise this up a little bit. So I'll just go like this here. I can use my arrow keys. I'll raise it up in XCS. And that's what I have there. So one of the things I check every time I get in here is I go up to my settings and I turn on the infrared ray preheat. And I turn that on every time. Just a good thing, I think, for the laser. Um, the other thing I'm going to do with this picture now is I'm going to take the grayscale. I'm going to bring it down one. So one or two. It goes to a grayscale look here. So black and white. It's a little easier to process, I believe. And one of the other things I have to do because it's going on a black surface, I have to invert the picture. So it's automatically going to do that. So for that square, once I got that lined up on the card, I'm going to turn that square off. I'm going to ignore that. Let's go back to the picture. Let's set up the parameters for the picture. So on this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to infrared laser. I'm going to do the dot duration at 220. I'm going to change the power on this one to 50%. And we're going to leave the DPI at 500. found that's pretty good. And we're going to change the bitmap mode, mode uh, from grayscale to Sierra. I'm going to leave it on Sierra. I find that that's better for photos. So we're going to check the framing again. So we check framing. It's a little bit bigger than the card. I understand that, but I know that it's going to have the picture, part of the picture I want in the framing, which is good. So the other thing I have to check is I'm going to go back to the laser here and I'm going to make sure that my two dots are lined up. So I'm going to change my focus manually to make sure that they're lined up. That looks good to me right there. Right there. So now we're going to process it and uh, let's just go to processing. And we'll go to start and we'll send it to the laser with the hood down and we'll talk to you in a minute. Looks like it's just completed here. I'm just going to pull it off. We'll take a look. So there is the card and uh, Looks pretty good. So those are the settings that I use for the uh, the business card, and um, there might be other processing if you get different different uh, blacks and whites and stuff in there. So, but the time it took was four minutes and thirteen seconds. So four minutes and thirteen seconds of time to do this card, and it looks excellent. So have a great day, and hopefully that's helpful.